Hello and welcome to the GCM Build Bench. Today we are looking at some updates to the GCM Racing uh, transfer case. This is a one-to-one -one transfer case uh, using very hard uh, 20 tooth gears. We use a standard 5 millimeter shaft that will fit on all your axial drive shafts and MIPs and, and uh, G-Made and whatever other shaft you want to use on your scale truck. And uh, we've made some updates to the GCM transfer case recently. We want to highlight those and do a little assembly video and show you uh, what it takes to put one of these units together. So the first thing you notice when you get into the packaging is that the transfer case housing here is uh, comes assembled. This is actually two halves of aluminum and you can pop these apart just by grabbing the ears and lifting them apart. You'll notice on here that uh, there's a one of them has a lifted a raised area here, and this side has a dimpled area, and the two of them fit together. So to get the two halves together nicely, so that you've got the extended area and the dimpled area fitting, put them flat on the table like this, and just slide them together, and give them a little push you're done. The uh, fit is really really tight so they're not going to want to go together if you try to hold them up in your hands and you get them all sideways and they're not going to fit together nicely. Lay them flat on the table so they're nice and flat on the bottom and then when you slide them together they'll go right in. So uh, we're going to do that but first set of course our gears on. Now it's important to remember that with this transfer case there's two output holes on each side so we could use this for the input side and then the output shaft over here or we could use the input shaft on the left side and the output shaft over here so you've got to figure out how you want to have this set up in your truck before you build it for our truck we're using a passenger side drop on the differential housing on the front so that means we're going to have the input shaft coming in on the right hand side of the vehicle and we're going to have the output shaft coming out on the left hand side of the vehicle so Let's go ahead and assemble these uh, shafts and the gears here. The first thing to do is get your one gear and line it up with the shaft side, the set screw side on the short end of the shaft. You'll notice right away when you get this together because if you line up the flat, you should have basically equal distance on each side of the gear. If you had this on backwards, you'd notice right away because the set screw flat on the shaft would give you lots of room on one side and almost no room on the other side so that's a pretty clear indication of how you how to set the gear up so drop the gear on there like that we're going to get our uh, set screw here and put our set screw in there with some Loctite on it and we'll put our we like to use blue Loctite gel the blue Loctite gel has got to be probably the most reliable Loctite product we've used in the transfer cases. Don't use liquid. Use the gel if at all possible because the gel doesn't leak out into the bearings through the bottom of the gears. The, uh, the gel stays put and when, it, when the gel dries after about 12 hours you end up with this really pasty Loctite goo and it not only holds the set screw in until the next time you have to service it but it also holds the gear on and takes up a little bit of play in any of the gears now you'll see when I go to assemble this with the set screw loose there's a little bit of play up and down on the shaft that really doesn't matter you can set the gear however you want the flats are a little bit larger than the bottom of the set screw so you just have to set that up however it works for you. So then the next step is to get the bearings on. The bearings will just slide over the shaft right at the gear face and the gear tail. And we'll drop those on like this. And this is the place in the uh, assembly where you want to pay attention to how your, your uh, layout is going to be. Because as you can see, the way that the gears are set up there's only one way for the input shaft to go in 
and the output shaft has one on each side. So, make sure that you know which side you're going to use here because uh, that's important for how you want to lay out your transfer case. Now, in our case, we're going to set up the input shaft on the right hand side. So this is really easy. You simply just take the shaft and the gear and the bearing and you drop it right into that side of the case. There you go. You can see that it, the bearing pushes right in there nice and snug. And we're going to match the gear faces so the teeth are both inside at the same place. Drop that right in and push that in. Once you get that lined up, you should be able to push that bearing right into the bottom. Nice little click there. And now we've got these lined up here. So the gears are flat with each other inside the one side of the housing. We've got our layout proper here because in our case we're going to have the input shaft coming in on the right side and the front shaft out and the rear shaft out. So this layout is good for us. And then of course you want to get your grease in there. This is as easy as it gets. I mean in our case we've got our famous white lithium here that we use on everything. And uh, we're gonna use, we've got it in this little syringe here so all you got to do is at this point is put it inside the bottom of the of the transfer case housing and squish a bunch of white grease there you can see it coming out just squish a bunch of that in between the gears give it a bit of a roll and because the gears are already inside the housing the grease isn't going to come out and get you just keep rolling that around in there and there's another dry spot there. We'll put a little more grease. Roll that into the gear teeth there. So, there we've basically got that lubed up forever. There really shouldn't be any need to uh, have to come in here and re-lube this. The, uh, the way that the transfer case is made, there's very little room between the gears and the housing. So once the grease is in, you're pretty much set forever. Now we're going to drop on this other side case. Remember how I was telling you, you lay these down flat and you bring these over to each other. And you can see how the bearings are already lining up the case half. Almost perfect, but it's not quite closed. When it's flat on the table, you can just give it a little push together. And that's it. So we've got our transfer case here all lubed up. You can see the bearings are nicely seated here at the bottom of the transfer case and the shafts are sticking out ready to go. Our, uh, our setup is basically ready to go here. And now there's these three fantastic screws here that just drop in to the open side of the case. You uh, can put some light Loctite on these if you want to use uh, some purple or blue Loctite. You don't need much uh, torque to screw these down. I recommend just uh, finger tight plus maybe one turn or a half a turn would be more than enough. Because the case itself has that joint down the middle that locks the two case halves together, the screws are just to keep it from vibrating apart or something. There's really no... the screws actually aren't doing very much work in this case at all. So, there you go. We've gone from a pile of parts to a built and ready to install transfer case from GCM Racing. Now you can install this in your rig and if you've got the, uh, the older style MIP shafts with the flat set screw face, you can still use these on these. We've got uh, these new shafts the GCM transfer case has always come with hardened steel shafts. There's no change now, except that we've got new material for our drive shafts now that allows us to put a hole in it for those screw pins that are so common now. I think MIP is even sending their, their MIP uh, drive shafts with the screw pin. And, uh, the, of course, the stock axial uses those and uh, many other um, aftermarket places are using those as well. So you can drop this screw pin right through the shaft here or if there's also a flat still on the shaft in case you have one of those big four millimeter set screws that you're going to use 
And uh, of course we always recommend a set screw on each side of the shaft on your MIP or your axial drive shaft or uh, drop in the screw pin on one side and you're all done. And uh, there's the GCM transfer case install and uh, we look forward to your comments and pictures of your rigs and uh, enjoy.